All right, I've got the rolls pulled out of my warehouse. If there is a thin layer of dust, please pardon that. I've got two buildings on my property, both house cars, and rest assured it will get a thorough cleaning before it gets to anybody. It's not bad, just dusty. While I'm in it, I'm just gonna give you a quick driving video to show the car's good too. No lights are on, obviously. But beyond that, it's in nice shape. Heads up works well, accelerates nicely. Doesn't pull left or right. Same with braking if I really get into the brakes. No strange rattles, no strange sounds on the cabin. be doing is tying this directly into a walk around for you as well. us out in the sun here. Do a quick walk around. Quick but thorough. I say quick, but as much time as we need. And hopefully that helps. Right. So you and I will start in the dead front and I'll cover every panel. I think our photos showed a general overview pretty well, but Anything up close, I'm happy to show. Very minor rock chipping up at the front. Nothing egregious by any means. Same at the front here, minor rock chipping. Nothing hateful. wheels, every body panel. Hopefully the reflections pick up on anything. If they don't, I'll keep watching. Faint scratch here above the handle. I think I'll actually polish out. But it's worth noting and mentioning. I'll make sure we try to get that out. and roof. Very nice shape as well. That is not our car alarm going off. Start the back. Try to get every reflection I can. There's me. Like I said, the car was well cared for. You know, some driven miles are not synonymous with hard miles on these, especially if they're not rentals. We don't really, we don't really do a lot of rentals for that reason. Coming in on this, oh, not even a scratch. Just a remnant of a leaf that was there. Wheels are nice. Hood, windshield. And the little bit on the inside of the windshield is just where the film has a bubble in it. Nothing other than that. 
And when I say film, there is tint applied to the inside of the windshield. It's not hateful. It's not dark. It was for UV protection to make sure the leather didn't start curling under UV or heat. Leather's in great shape, including kick panels. Usually you'll see some distress right about in here from people getting in and opening and closing. Wood's good. No fraying on the edges. That's another common problem you see. The armrest isn't marred up or scratched. It's not faded. Same with bolsters and seat bottoms. No scratches from jeans, no nothing hateful. Leather kick panels down here, you'll usually see a lot of scuffing. This one's great. Same story throughout on this side of it. Kick panels again, no marring, no scratching. this side. And I've got the same story here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm trying to catch the side bolster on this side for you without getting too much glare on the lens, but same story. Light creasing, but no discoloration, no issues. And the same story in the back. It was well cared for. I know this client, I've known him for several years now. He takes very good care of his cars and probably sells six or seven cars with us every year. He probably buys the same amount. No weird smells, no smoke, no chemicals, nothing. It smells like it rolls inside. That's good. So. What I'll do is upload this video and send it along. Thank you.